Hey guys, how you doing? It's Pablo here. Uh, in this channel, we're talking about spores, trays, which involve, uh, you know, plumbing, appliances repair, air conditioning, and heating. And in this job, um, I'm going to be fixing a oven, a stove, a gas stove oven, and the igniter um, is defective and needs to be replaced. I already replaced the, flame, um, the temperature sensor. This is the old one right here. This is the little plastic bag where the new one was. The new one is there, right there. That sensor sings what temperature is inside and put it on the screen. Uh, but now I'm gonna put a new igniter. Um, so I'm making this video through my phone. Um, I'm gonna try my best to do the job with one hand, which is holding my camera. Um, I'm taking this cover off to get access to the igniter. It's because the heat is going to take off. All right, so it's off. I'm going to make this cover off. So that the area where the knife is. Um, all that stuff right here, all this. It would go to the igniter and start sparking and burn itself off. I gotta remove this knot. Um, be patient with me, guys. I'm doing everything with one hand. Um, this is a 10, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, it's 10. So let me stick it with this. You can see it? This is the sink. This is with the which which hold the heat. Because this this cover right here cannot get heat directly, a flame directly. It can span and bend because it's weak. Alrighty. So this is the igniter guys right here. Um the oxidator too. Let me get my drill. Like this right here. This is the harness. This is where the ignited it get 120. And the way this work is, guys, um, when this ignited get 120, it glow and it drop a lot of amp current, and it make the gas valve open by the amp that this is drying or eating down. And when that happens, the gas coming on and it create a flame and boom. Alrighty. Now I've got to disconnect this and also this. So now I've got my igniter disconnected. Okay, so now um, I'm going to give me myself Remove the screw right here. This is the burner. And this one right there. This is like a 15, 20 minute job. Um, everybody can do it. And this is the guy right here. As you can see, look at the coloration. It's all the dust and all the stuff you can see. So that's good to keep your oven clean, guys. Uh, you know, everybody at home, keep your oven clean. So it's easy to remove that panel. And most likely it's going to be two screws holding from the back and you can remove it and get a vacuum clean it over. All right. Um, I offer to clean to the customer. They say, no, they're gonna do it later. They don't want a lot of noise because they have a baby sleeping upstairs. So let me proceed with my replacement, guys. All right, so I'm gonna remove those two screws. We should hold the igniter tight to the burner. I'm just gonna hold tight. Gotta go slowly. Otherwise, the screw can go crazy. And this thing is going to be really hard to take it out, so you don't put a lot of pressure on there. Slowly. Slowly. 
millimeter. Press the move over here. Everybody knows who's going to get it in trouble. Some people also get stuff on Amazon. I don't really like Amazon. Thank you.